Hey guys, Jacob here. It is August 24, 2021, and this is going to be this week's Vendor Reset. At the front desk vendor this week, we have the Sacrifice Province Defense chess piece that has perfect glass cannon. The stats on this are pretty low, so I wouldn't recommend grabbing this one unless you guys really, really need it. Uh, or if you're a beginner trying to get some pieces together and use for like a raid build or something, you could make this work. But at the same time, you might be better off farming loot allocations and using something like a Fenris Vest or maybe even just using normal glass can if it has better stats. I'm going to scroll through a few more items in case you guys want to pick any of this stuff up. But overall, that's going to be the front desk vendor. Now if you go under the helipad past the stash box right here on the right, you will see a little sign that says Clan Quarters. Go through the door and take a left. Shout out to DoD Disciples of Doom and Kamikaze Von Doom. And this is the clan vendor. This week, they're selling the Forge Holster. This one has shield health and skill haste. If you guys don't have this, I'd recommend picking this up, especially if you're trying to make a shield build or if you guys just want to collect all the named items. I'm going to scroll through a few more of this stuff if you guys want to pick any of this up. They are selling max headshot damage on the LMG and also max pistol damage on this X45 if you guys need that. And max headshot for the G28. This is a marksman rifle. And max rifle for the LVIC if you guys need that. So four items you guys can add to your stat library. But other than that, that's all they're really selling at the base of ops. The next settlement on the list is going to be the theater settlement. This week they're selling the artist tool. The rolls in this are pretty average. Nothing too crazy. But if you guys need this, I'd recommend grabbing it. I'm going to scroll through a few more items in case you want to pick any of this stuff up. And point out anything that's worth picking up. I will point out these two items, especially if you guys are new players. I want to point out these Siska gloves. If you guys are trying to make a crit hazard build or a crit build in general, you could make these work. And I'm also going to point out these Walker Harris uh, knee pads if you guys are trying to make a damage to armor build or just weapon damage build in general. And you guys can use these two pieces to make a pretty uh, average DPS build. Or if you guys want to optimize these, you could use them for a true DPS build if you want to put all the points into them. But if you're especially new, then I would recommend grabbing these pieces and just rolling them and making them work on a build. But that's about it for the theater settlement. Next vendor is going to be the campus settlement. And this week they're selling the carnage with max damage targets out of cover. I would recommend picking this up at the same time it has headshots. So unless you guys are trying to get headshot on an LMG, then you can pick this up. But I know a lot of you guys are looking for damage targets out of cover and damage to armor. But if you guys need it, I'd recommend grabbing it. I'm going to scroll a few more items in case you want to pick any of this stuff up. But overall, nothing too crazy for sale at the campus settlement. Next, we have the Dark Zones. Keep this in mind. If you guys want to buy anything from these vendors, you're going to have to go into the DZ and open little tiny boxes to get the DZ resources. Or deconstruct items in your bag and then extract them into your stash. That way you can get the resources that way. This week, they are selling the Firm Handshake Sockloff Concern Gloves. These ones have max status effects. That's pretty much what's always on them. You have weapon damage and weapon handling. If you guys don't have these, I'd recommend grabbing them at the same time. They cost 152 resources, so it's all up to you guys. But I'm going to scroll through a few more of these items. You guys want to pick any of this stuff up. They are selling some pretty decent uh, Suska knee pads if you guys are trying to make armor regen versions like of the build. Or of an armor regen crit build, you guys can do that. I've seen that a few times. Uh, or if you want to get rid of armor regen and just max this out, then you can have some all red Suska knee pads. But other than that, that's all they're really selling at DC West. Next Dark Zone is going to be DZ South. This week they're selling the Pointman Heliguard chess piece. This one has pretty low stats, but if you guys are trying to make a Vanguard build and you really need it, then obviously pick it up. But you could probably farm loot allocations to find a better one. They're also selling max critical at chance on SMGs if you guys need that. But overall, uh, that's pretty much all they're really selling this week. Um, but I am going to point out one more thing. If you guys are trying to make an unbreakable SMG build, I would recommend grabbing this piece because it has, obviously, weapon damage, critical hit damage, and skill haste. And you can get rid of skill haste if you want to put on a critical hit chance or even headshot or hazard. And I know this is pretty popular at the moment. A lot of people are running unbreakable instead of intimidate. So maybe you guys might want to pick this one up. The next dark zone is going to be DZ East. This week, they're selling the new Reliable. If you guys don't have this, I'd recommend grabbing it. But at the same time, you can farm loot allocations to get one of these if you really want it. And the stats on this are pretty low. But if you guys want one, then you can grab it. They're also selling max LMG damage if you guys need that for your stat library. But other than that, nothing too crazy at DZ East. But if you guys need any of these items, I'd recommend picking them up. Next up is going to be the pretty much settlement in New York City. And keep this in mind, they do not sell any named items here. So it's pretty much just all basic shit if you guys need it. 
then I'd recommend grabbing it, but at the same time, um, nothing too crazy. But if you guys need any of it, like I said, I would recommend grabbing it. If you guys go to the atrium right here and take a left and go through the green tent, you will see Roy Benitez right here at the end. This week, he is selling the SIG MPX with max SMG damage, 12.5 critical at chance and accuracy. And even though the critical at chance is pretty low, I'm actually going to recommend picking this one up. Uh, if you guys change the accuracy to damage charts of cover or damage to armor, you might have a pretty decent SIG MPX here, and a lot of people don't have the apartment. And if you want to have a pretty good one, I would recommend optimizing this out, so that way you have a pretty decent MPX to use. And I know this weapon is pretty popular, and at the same time, it only costs 8,000 credits. It will cost more to optimize, but I highly recommend grabbing it either to get the SMG talent off, or measure it if you guys need that for your stat library, or just really want a MPX. But I'm going to scroll to a few more items in case you want to pick any of this stuff up. But overall, that's all they're really selling this week at the vendors. But as usual, thank you guys all for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more Division 2 content, and I'll catch you guys all later.